I greet you in Jesus' precious name, folks. It's so good to be with you again. I want to speak to you about something that terrorizes most of us. What is that, Angus? It's the fear of man. The fear of man. I want to say to a young lady watching this program, I don't know who you are, but I want to tell you that you are allowing yourself to be intimidated by your so-called friends. They are all telling you that they are sleeping with other boys and that you are the only one who's not. They are liars, most of them. And if you go and do that because you want to remain as part of the crowd, you could end up pregnant with somebody that you don't even love. And it's caused by the fear of men. Young man, I'm talking to a young man watching this program. You hate the taste of alcohol, but you go out on a Friday night with your young friends and you drink. You don't want to, but you want to be part of the crowd. And if you don't, they're going to throw you out. And the fear of man is compelling you to do something you don't want to do. I want to talk to businessmen that are doing things that are against the law, but you're doing it because your boss or the company is insisting that you do it and you know it's wrong. But because of the fear of your job, the fear of man, you're doing it. Don't do it anymore, sir. We really need to fear God. That is the only way to get rid of the fear of man is the fear of God. I want to say to you, this is your time to stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for Jesus Christ. Until next time, be bold. Goodbye.